In this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to build a voice AI agent for salons and barbershops. This voice AI agent is able to check availability with inside a calendar system, book appointments all automatically 24 seven, and then even go ahead and send confirmation emails and SMSs towards the customers and the barbershop as well. By the end of this video, you will have a completely free voice AI template and AI prompt everything that I've used in this video to build this voice AI agent. So you can just go ahead and download it, implement it into your demos or clients' businesses or anything that you wanna use. And if you don't already know me, my name is Ashton. I've been helping um, businesses implement voice AI solutions and AI solutions just like this to save time, cut costs and drive growth. So if you are a business owner and you are looking to implement any sort of voice AI solutions, feel free to book a call in the link in the description below. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the build and uh, yeah, I'll show you how the system works. Okay, so we're in Vapi. This is gonna be the voice AI platform that we're gonna be using to create this voice AI agent for the salon and barbershop. So first of all, let's get started. So we'll go down to create an assistant and then we're just gonna be doing a blank template. So this allows us to customize the agent straight from scratch. So we'll just name it, um, we'll name it Sophia. Um, Sophia Salon Agent. Go ahead and select Create a System. And then from there, we'll be selected on the screen. And then the first message right here is the first message the voice AI agent is going to say when someone calls up the phone. So we'll say hello. Um, hello, this is, this is Sophia from, from Crown Hut Barbershop. How can I help you today? This is going to be the first message that the AI agent is saying. Let's capitalize that. Okay, so now we have the system prompt. So this prompt is really important to tell the AI agent what to do, how to handle the task, how to call different tools such as check availability and book appointments. So I'm just going to go down to here to this Google Doc. And of course, if you do want this voice AI prompt that I've used in this video, just go ahead and subscribe and download the prompt in the link in the description below. So you get it completely for free so you can build it alongside me. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this up here, delete this prompt, paste in this prompt that we just got right here. And then I'll just run you through it and kind of restructure it. So first of all, up here, we have the role. So again, giving the AI agent a role within the business. We've said you were Sophia, you know, a concierge for a crown cuts and style studio, a modern salon and barber lounge. Your persona is friendly, approachable, stylish, and confident. And your primary function is to provide a smooth and trendy booking experiences that reflects the salon's high quality brand. So again, giving the AI agent a role within inside the business known as the concierge or receptionist and then also giving it a persona such as friendly, approachable, and stylish. And then from here, we have the current time. So this is really useful when we're sending times to check availability and book appointments. So the AI always knows the current time in which it's speaking in. So you would obviously change this for your time zone at the end. So for example, if it was like America, um, America slash like, and then you could do loss address or whatever, right? So you just put your time zone in there. But again, I'm just gonna leave mine as Brisbane. Uh, right here because that is the current time zone and again that does help our ai agent understand the current time and know to always send times in the future and then from here we have the task so this is going to be the task of the agent how it's going to be conducting its conversation uh with inside uh the role or with inside how it's speaking to the customer so again number one greeting and service inquiry i'm just going to fix this up number one greet the greet the caller to a warm inquiry stating your name and the salon's name and then ask what service it like for example it could be a haircut a beard shims color or styling so again collecting the information about the service they would like and then from there once the AI agent has collected that information it's then going to check availability with the calendar so again once you know the desired service ask the client for their preferred date and time and then use the check availability tool for uh to check the request of time so uh, another thing that's really important about this is that we need to make sure that this name right here um is the exact same tool name that we have with inside the tool set with inside Vapi. so again that's something that's really important and then if their preferred time is available proceed to the next step and then if it is unavailable politely inform them and suggest the next a closest available slot so for example if i were to call up and say um, look, you have 10 a.m. The AI agent checks the calendar and it says no. The AI agent's then going to go ahead and um, run that function again to then check for available slots. And then from here, we have uh, if the client asks for general availability, again, use the check availability. So again, prompting the AI agent to handle any scenario uh, that, the, that the customer could come across or the customer could ask the agent. And then from there, once the time is agreed upon, um, you will then use the client's, uh, you will then collect the client's full name, phone number, and email address. 
and then explicit and then expl ex sorry and then confirm all the details um such as full name phone number email address service type and then date and time so again confirming all those details to make sure it's correct within the business and then from there you will run the book appointment tool with the confirmed information so yeah that's kind of the task you know uh, within this AI agent prompt you can see how I've done you know one two three just a simple pass simple prompt for this this video and then from here we've provided the AI agent a little bit of context so you said you are crown cuts a style studio a premium salon and barber lounge offering haircuts color beard trims and styling so again giving the AI agent a little bit of context about the business and then from here we have the um, example conversation again I like to add this in a lot of voice AI agents that I work with just because it gives the AI agents context on how to conduct the conversation and then also right here you can see that um, we're telling the AI agent how to run certain tools and how to check availability book appointments so again the AI agent knows how to conduct the conversation and then also knows when to run tools as well and then from here we just have some important notes so almost done with the prompt here so for example we've got use everyday language keep it natural conversational use the client's name throughout the conversation um you know add natural fillers so again this is just making the ai agent more conversational for, for the customer and our prompt so we'll go ahead and click update there and that's really the prompt um then we'll come down here files i'm not really going to touch this this is again a knowledge base so you just go ahead and add files as you can see i've got a bunch of files if you do want to add a file create a google doc create a document or a pdf click add files and then you can just go down here and add everything with inside your files avoid configuration i'll go down here and just leave it as the normal voice we'll just select it as a female for this um whole whole purpose as we're using a female name um so yeah that's kind of the whole configuration inside vapi and then now all that we need to do is go ahead and configure the tools so to configure these tools we'll go we're going to need to go ahead to go over the tools right here and i'm actually going to be building out both of these automations you know from scratch so we're going to be using make.com to go ahead and automate so make.com is just an automation software that we can use to check availability book appointments so do a bunch of different automations and we can connect both vapi and make.com via a webhook so this is exactly how we can build this type of um automation right here so for example i'm going to go ahead and create a new tool it's going to be a custom tool our first tool is going to be the check availability so i've got it right there and then the description is just going to be to check the availability of the calendar for the salon so again it's fixing up the spelling mistakes so again this description is going towards the llm to know the entire purpose of this tool and then from here we need to add some parameters so this is going to be um just the time so we'll send just time in here um the time that the customer has requested right there awesome so again this is sending this information via json so you can actually see what it looks like this is what it's getting sent over in the json via webhook so again that's all we really need and the last thing that i'm going to need is a server url so if you go back over to make.com um, this is going to be the automation that we're using to check availability so again this automation right here is checking availability and it's also checking for more availability with inside a time frame that's provided just like i said with inside the prompt so what we're going to need here is the webhook address so if we go down here copy this webhook and of course if you do want this entire automation template i'll leave it down uh, below in the link in the description so you can go ahead and build it out again copy this to the clipboard come over to the server, server url and then paste this make thing right here so now if we go ahead and uh, click save this automation should be all done and then the second automation the second tool we need to create is the booking tool so again custom tool i'll come down here and name it um book appointment right there awesome um and then we'll say to book a appointment um for the salon right here so again this is going towards the llm so it knows the purpose of the tool and then from here we'll do the same thing we'll add some parameters but this is going to be a little bit different as you saw in the prompt we're asking the ai agent to collect the name the phone number the email address the full type of service so again i'm going to be putting in um full full name as this tool again you need to make sure you have these underscores with inside the name of the parameter because that's just how uh, we need to structure it inside a json um the name of the customer and then we'll go ahead and add another property the email the email of the customer of 
apply again it makes it really easy for us to add these properties in and then from there we'll do um, phone number yeah we need to add in um, phone number um, the phone number of the customer and from there we'll add in one more thing um, which is going to be the time again. So this is just going to be the confirmed time, the confirmed time of the customer for, for the appointment. Perfect. And then last thing we need to add is the service type. So again, is it a beard trim? Is it a haircut? Are they doing stylish? So styling or whatever, right? Um, service type. Uh, the service type of the customer. All right, awesome. So this uh, should be all good now. So we can go ahead and test it and send some information to make so we can then structure the entire workflow. So if we just go ahead and click apply right here, and then of course we're gonna need that server URL. So coming back over to here um, inside. So yeah, again, this is going to be the book appointment one. So again, uh, I'll briefly explain how these work after we get some data and we can map it and build it out and then we'll do a final test and demo run and I'll explain how everything works. So again, putting that uh, web book again right here, gonna go ahead and click save and then right here, we'll go back over to the assistant and then we need to add these tools with inside the tools right here. So book appointment, check availability right there, awesome. Click publish and now our AI agent should be all good to test. So now that we've configured those tools, I just wanna go ahead and test and map some of this data into this make.com uh, automation and workflow. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead to this first one. I'm gonna click run once, and then I'll also do the same for the book appointment one. One once and then wait for new data. And if we come back here, we go over to the chat and we'll say hello. This is where we can test the AI agent and send in some testing data so we can map it to the automation and then make it work. And then we'll go ahead and do a final demo. So I'll say, um, looking to get a men's haircut. Perfect. Um, do you have availability for tomorrow at 1 p.m.? You can see right here, if we go back over to this automation, it's gonna call and then it's gonna say, perfect, we do have availability, perfect. And then from there, we're gonna give it some of our details. So we'll say Ashen Voss, Ashen is the email, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll do, um, what else does it need? Okay, perfect. So that's all it needs. Go ahead and make sure this is running, perfect. Click send. And then now um, we can go ahead and map and get some data in here. So again, thanks to action number confirm. Okay, yes, yes. See right here, all right, perfect. So this is what we need. Again, the reason why I'm doing this is we need to get some of this data that we have via a webhook so we can map it into this Google Calendar module and all these other modules uh, so it makes sense, right? So again, I'm gonna come back in here um, and then we can change some of this. So new appointment for, um, come back over here to two tool calls functions arguments again you can see this is all of our data right here so i'll just do full name at um time perfect 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 actually no we need to use the open ai at time right there so again start date is going to be that time end date we won't need to put any of that and then the duration is it's going to be an hour and then right here we'll just simply map some of these details so appointment details for full name at time for service type is men's haircut email is this and then the phone number is that right there all right perfect address we won't need to have that and then name again this is going to be for the attendees so full name and then email right there so perfect all right so now that google calendar workflow will work and then i'm going to go ahead and customize the conversation uh sorry the confirmation email so this is getting sent towards the um customer upon booking so again this is really important as well email address of course come down here tools functions arguments email um you have a new service appointment for um service type so you have a new service appointment for a men's haircut that has been scheduled at um, and this is the time, a full name, service is scheduled for 
men's haircuts. That's fine. And then, bang. So now that email is going to get sent with all that data. Again, we'll go over here and just do delete that. And then, yeah, this will be all good. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because this is using this for another module. Yeah, okay. So now this is going to successfully uh, schedule an event and then send a confirmation confirmation email upon the appointment. So now this should be all good to go ahead and do a final test and demo inside Bappy. So yeah, that's just quickly how you can build these AI agents pretty quickly, mapping all that data in. So again, let's go ahead and talk to it and let's do a final little test, test run and demo. So let's just go ahead and trigger both of these workflows like over here. Hey, how are you going, Sophia? I was just looking to book in an appointment, please. I was just interested in just a men's haircut with a beard trim as well, please. Um, let's do let's do tomorrow at two p.m., please. Sure, no problem. So it's Ashton Voth. My email is ashtonvoth47 at gmail.com. And then my phone number is 123-456-789. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, awesome. So you can see right there, just went ahead and booked the appointment. It's in my Google Calendar. It's got all of those different times uh, and details in the description. So yeah, that's exactly how you can create a voice AI agent for these hair salons. Of course, if you did enjoy this video and um, you are looking to implement a voice AI agent like this inside your business or you've got any questions, feel free to book a completely free discovery call uh, in the link in the description below. And yeah, we'd be happy to answer and I'm happy to answer any questions. So yeah, without further ado, that's gonna be it.